If I'm trying to find the volume of a rectangular prism, I'm going to be doing the area of the base, which in this case is a square, times the height, or length times width times height. So if I do x times x, I get x squared. So x times x times 2x. x times x is x squared, times 2x gives me 2x cubed. Units cubed. For number 37, it says that it's an oblique cylinder, but it gives us the height, so we are good to go. It tells us also that the diameter is 2r, meaning that the radius is just r. So the volume for a cylinder is pi r squared times the height. So we will plug that in, r already r, so we will say pi r squared times the height, which is 3r. So we will get 3 pi r cubed units cubed. For number 38, we have a right rectangular prism with a rectangular hole. So we need to find the volume of the larger and subtract the smaller. So the volume of the larger will be length times width times height. So we will do 3x times 5x times x, which will give us 15x cubed. And then we need to subtract. If we know that this is x and this is 2x, it's going to have the same height as the other one. So we will do minus 2x times x times x, which is 2x cubed, so we'll end up having 13x cubed, units cubed. Good luck on your test.